This video will showcase an extension to Anno 1800 that I've been working on for a while. The primary goal with this extension is to replace the built-in trade route system. I usually find that using the built-in trade route system becomes somewhat overwhelming. This typically happens when there's more than just a few islands and the variety of resources that needs to be distributed between the islands rise over a certain level. The example here is not overly complex, but it will still serve the purpose of demonstrating what I want to achieve with this project. The main island in this save game is named Musli. As you can see, Musli has the production facilities to maintain the happiness of farmers and workers and cover some of the needs for its artisans. However, in order to avoid the pollution penalty, we would like to move the industrial production off to another island. For this purpose, I've settled the other island that I've named Tiny. The sole purpose of Tiny is to maintain a worker population as well as producing industrial goods such as steel, steel beams and weapons. The challenge here is that Tiny is so small that we cannot really have any farmland production. So what we need is a system where we can ship all the goods that we need to maintain the happiness of the workers while occasionally sending back the industrial goods that they produce back to Musli. The main component to the project that I'm presenting here is a scripting API that hooks into the game. A program using this API can then query various state from the game as well as interacting with the game through function calls. I've made an example program as you see executed on the left called Monocle Demo. The program takes as input a list of names of the islands that we want to participate in the automatic trading. As we see unfolding in the game, the program will analyze the supply and demand of various goods between the two islands. It then uses the idle schooners to schedule deliveries between the two islands as it sees fit. We can see that the program decides that the first priority is to ship consumer goods from Musli to Tiny. After shipping the first batch of goods, we can see that the program decides to send one shipment of beams from Tiny back to Musli. So, without using the trade route system from within the game, we can use the scripting API to automate trading between islands. After a while, the resource balance between Tiny and Musli has pretty much stabilized. Musli is not consuming steel at the moment. However, if we build a sewing machine factory, Musli would need to import steel in order for that factory to work. We can now see that the trader program recognizes the need for steel at Musli and schedules a delivery accordingly. Schooner reporting. Let's say we want to add another island to the trading system. In particular, in this case, we'll take the other island, Lily Paddy. All we need to do in order to include this into the trading system is to run the program again by adding Lily Patty to the list of arguments. We will now see schooners arriving at Lily Patty with all the goods that Lily Patty does not produce itself. Stations. As a very artificial example, let's pretend that we want to produce bricks at lily paddy, but we don't want to have any clay pits. So we will build a bunch of brick factories and also remove all the clay at the lily paddy. Challenge. It's all prepared. 
After letting the game run for a while, let's check the statistics window. We can see that Lily Patty is consuming clay, but periodically get resupplied by external shipments. Likewise for Tiny and Misley, they will be producing clay, and then after reaching a certain volume, it'll be shipped off to Lily Patty for consumption. Regarding bricks, we can see the falling edge where I discarded all the bricks from all the islands. We can then see that the supplies of bricks in both Tiny and Misley are building up in packets of 50 as it's being delivered from Lily Patty. That is all. Thank you for watching.